Well, this is the day the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. So greetings from Family Dominion Church. We're helping to equip families just like yours to take dominion over all the works of the enemy. I'm Dr. Morris, amen. I am the pastor of Family Dominion Church. I'm so humbled and honored to do that on behalf of the kingdom of God. So thank you for being with us today, amen. So today we're gonna talk about one of my most favorite topics, amen, and one of, and one of, one of my most favorite things to do, and that is prayer. We're gonna be talking about this over the next uh, coming episodes. So take out some pen and paper. I want you to take really good notes because I believe there's something that God wants to speak to us, amen, through his spirit so he can minister to us on this issue of prayer. Amen, pray more and pray persistently. I believe that that is the word of the Lord for you and I know it's the word of the Lord for me. Amen. As you know, we just finished up the National Day of Prayer. That's what really kind of like put this into my heart. I just felt an unction in my spirit to talk about prayer, to share that with you. So get ready, open up your heart, open up your Bibles, take out your catchers and get ready to receive everything the Lord would have for you today. Amen. So God bless you real good this morning. If no one has told you already, let me be the first. God loves you. Put your hand on your heart and say, God loves me with an everlasting love. Yes, he does. And of course, we love you. If you don't have a church home, if you don't have a church family, one of you, I want you to, to prayerfully consider becoming a part of Family Dominion Church. We are praying, talking about prayer. We are praying, amen, and believe in God for people just like you. Amen. So there'll be information at the very end of this, uh, of this episode how, on how you can contact this ministry. Amen, and we'd be happy to pass on information to you about Family Dominion Church. So come go with us, come grow with us, amen. There, there is a place for you at Family Dominion Church, amen. We really are here for you. We love you so much and we thank God for you. So we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna transition into prayer, amen, asking you to pray for me, amen. And then of course, you know, I am going to pray for you and do that right now. Amen. So Father, I thank you for all the people within the sound of my voice. Thank you for moving supernaturally, sir, upon their hearts. Holy Spirit, touch their hearts, their minds, their eyes, their ears, so they can see, so they can hear, so they can receive everything that you would have for them this morning. Work in me and through me. I submit myself to you. Thank you for just revealing whatever it is that I need to say to the people of God. And Father, as always, I ask, Father, that may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, sir, be acceptable and pleasing in your sight, for you are my rock and my redeemer. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. God bless you real good this morning. So again, open up your Bibles and open up your hearts. Pray more and pray without ceasing. Say that with me. Pray more and pray without ceasing. If you are believing, amen, if you're believing God, whether it's for your finances or if it's for your marriage, if it's for your children, if it's for health and healing in your body, keep on praying no matter what. Amen, keep on praying no matter what, no matter how it looks. Let me tell you what, looks can be deceiving. You can't go by what you see, amen. You cannot go by what you see. So no matter how it might look, you continue to trust God. Don't ever get out of faith. You keep on believing God and keep on believing his word. God has a great track record. God never lies. There's some things God cannot do. And one of the things that God cannot do is God cannot lie. He is true to his word. He will do whatever it is his word says that he will do. And whatever God's will is for you, let me tell you what, if God gave you his word on it, God will perform it. Matter of fact, God watches over his word to perform it. So no matter how things might look, don't you stop believing. Keep on praying no matter how it looks and no matter how you feel, amen. A lot of folks are just living by their feelings, amen. But we're not called to live by our feelings, we are called to live by faith, amen. Go over to 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, and here's what that says. It says we walk, and in some translations it says live, we walk or live by faith, not by sight. Amen, we should be faith people. Guys, we're not supposed to walk according to the dictates of our flesh. You cannot trust your flesh. You can't live according to a goosebump. Amen, you must live according to this word, amen. So don't live according to your flesh and don't live according to your feelings. 
Amen. Your feelings can change from moment to moment, from day to day. You could feel one way right now and within a couple of seconds, you could be like the weather here in Texas. Amen. I know all the people out there that are that are from Texas are probably going to laugh when I say this. Amen. Your feelings can change in a second, just like the weather changes here. Amen. Just wait a minute and it'll change. That's what we say about the weather in Texas. So don't live according to how you feel. Amen. Because your feelings are not reliable. Your flesh is not reliable. That's why God commands us get out of the flesh, say flesh, and get into the spirit. Live in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Amen. You need to be living in the spirit. Amen. So we've got to walk by faith in God. And we got to walk by faith in God's word. Amen. Faith in his word. Romans 1 17 says the just and of course another word for justice, the righteous shall live by their faith. Amen. Faith, as we know, is the currency of the kingdom. And guys, I'm going to tell you, faith is very instrumental in prayer. You cannot pray effectively. Amen. Without faith. Effective, powerful prayer is based on faith and is based on faith in God and in his word. Amen. I have, to, I have to qualify that. We just can't say faith, but faith in what? People have faith in a lot of things, but as believers, our faith is in God and our faith is in this word. Amen. We trust God and we trust his word because God can be trusted. God is trustworthy. Amen. So effective, powerful prayer is based on faith in God and faith in his word. Amen. Repeat that after me. Say effective prayer, powerful prayer is based on faith in God and in his word. Let me tell you what, I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself, but the devil is afraid of people who pray, amen. They pray, they pray persistently, they pray in faith, and they pray in faith, and their, and their faith is in God's word. So if you're, if you're praying the word of God and you're praying in faith, amen, based on the word, then that terrifies the enemy because he knows how powerful and effective those prayers can be. Persistent prayer pays off. Amen. And that's something else the devil is afraid of. Persistent prayers. Doesn't want you to pray persistently, perseveringly. Amen. Was what it says in some translations. So persistent prayer prays off. There are many Christians, they give up right on the brink. And this breaks my heart. Right on the brink of their breakthrough. Amen. They're getting ready to turn a corner spiritually. What they've been believing for God is almost in reach. And when I say in reach, I mean that it's, out of, it's coming out of the spiritual realm into this natural realm and it's getting ready to manifest. But some people give up precisely at the moment when things are going to change. Amen. But guys, you got to stay the course. Do not give up. Put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. Say persistent prayer always pays off. Repeat that after me again. Persistent prayer always, always, always pays off. It works. Amen. So when you pray persistently, payday is coming for you in terms of the prayers that you're praying. It's coming. You just hold fast. Here's, the, here's what the word persistent means, because I really want you to get this to understand how important it is for you to pray more and to pray persistently. Persistent means to be constant. It means that you can't be some spiritual flake. And I say that with all the love in my heart. No condemnation. Amen. We're not about condemnation in this ministry, in our church. We don't do that. But you can't be a spiritual flake. Amen. You got to be, you have to have some stability in your life spiritually. You must be constant. In other words, a person that's constant, they pray persistently. They pray when they feel like it and they pray when they don't. That's constant. That's what we mean by being persistent. Amen. It means to keep pressing forward. Press, press, press. I like the word push also. Amen. Pray until something happens. But you got to keep on pressing forward. You don't retreat. You don't give up. You don't give in. You continue to pray. Again, no matter how you feel, 
no matter what your flesh is telling you, no matter what the enemy might tell you, because you know the enemy will tell you all kinds of crazy things. Look at that, that's not working. That prayer stuff doesn't work. Even well-meaning people will try to talk you out of praying and believe in God for certain things. But you gotta shut those things down. Don't give those things any place in your head and don't give them any place in your heart, let me tell you. So it means to be constant. It means to keep pressing forward. We're not gonna retreat, right? When we pray, we're just gonna keep on pushing forward. Because guys, when you stop praying, when you stop pressing, when you stop pushing, guess what happens? You start to regress. You start to fall back. You start to lose ground. So that's why you gotta keep on pressing. The more you press, the more ground and stuff that God is working through you to bring about on, on, on your behalf. So don't you stop pressing. Keep pressing forward. It means to persist, amen? It means to, to never, and I love this part, it means to never stop. Never. Amen. Don't ever, 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 ever stop. Never, never stop. I, again, I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Guys, we must, as Christian people, resign ourselves to the truth. Notice I didn't say facts, because facts can change. To the truth of God's word that we will be praying until the day that we leave this body in this planet, amen, or Jesus comes back, whichever one happens first, amen. So you're gonna have to pray until you leave here. If you wanna live a victorious life, you're gonna have to keep on praying, amen. First Thessalonians 5, 17, here's what it says, 17 through 18. We're gonna run out of time shortly. Let me see if I can get the squeezes in. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. Not, not for all circumstances, guys. Not everything that's coming to you is for your good. But God can work it for your good. Amen. So give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What is God's will, Dr. Mars? Dr. God's will is that I pray without ceasing. God's will is that I give thanks. Amen. Prayer is the will of God for you. It's for us individually and it's for us as a corporate body. We are called to pray. Oh guys, nothing will change in your marriage and nothing will change in your life if you are not praying. If you're not praying in faith, if you're not praying based upon the word of God, if you're not praying more and praying persistently, nothing will change for you. Amen. So in closing, very quickly, I want to encourage you to, be, to become a, a partner to the Gideon 300, so into KPLE. They need your financial support, amen, to, to keep this station active and to keep programs like this on the, on the air. So into Family Dominion Church. We are good ground as well to so into, oh, help us spread the gospel all over this world. We thank God for you. We, we, we're praying for you and praying for your families, and we will see you next week. God bless.